It's the crazy old lady of comedy, Julia Scotty. portion of the show. <laughs> Where are my trans people? Let me hear you. Yeah. One lonely person in the back. Oh, yeah, I am the T in LGBT. Uh, we came at the end. Uh, they put us after the bisexuals. Uh, and I don't understand why, because there's like six in the whole country, you know. <laughs> I wasn't always trans, though. I wasn't. I, what happened was I went to the hospital for a tonsillectomy. <laughs> They were running a sale. <laughs> Buy one, lose two. <laughs> and I did it late in life too. I, I, you know, I was pretty old when I did it. I, and so I got, I didn't get to do all the fun things that young girls get to do. Like, you know, like go to the prom. You know, make less money than men. <laughs> get sexually harassed by Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> when I came out. Boy, you should have been there for that conversation. <laughs> I took her to a nice restaurant out in the open because I wanted eyewitnesses, you know. <laughs> and I said to her, honey, listen, uh, uh, there's something I have to tell you. And she goes, is it another woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. You could say that. All my female friends though, were very welcoming, very, very welcoming. Men, not so much. Men freak out when they talk about it. My male friends were like, you're cutting it off? Oh my God, he's cutting it off, you're cutting it off! You're cutting it off! Yeah, I'm cutting it off. They got like a little penis guillotine that I'm going to. <laughs> Fly me over to France, a 17th century courtyard. There's a guy with a pencil-thin mustache, a beret, and a cigarette. <laughs> He's like, you ready to get the cut off? Yeah. Move a little closer, move to the little, put the pee pee in, put the pee pee in, and boom! Voila, you are a woman now! <laughs> it's so stupid. And then, you know, and men are like, really, as soon as I start talking about it, men get very uncomfortable. I see them, I look out the cover here. <laughs> Very protective of that. They're very protective. Like, what are you covering it for? Like, what are you afraid a falcon is gonna come down and snatch it? <laughs> no! <laughs> so I've been on the road a lot lately, and I'm a little, you know, I feel a little vulnerable now when I go out on the road. Like, I drove to Florida a couple of months ago, and uh, I, I drove. I kind of had to take a detour through Minnesota. <laughs> well, because I'm not allowed to pee in North Carolina. <laughs> oh, they're freaking out about my pee. My pee's like radioactive, man. Oh, you, they even made a law against it. They, you can't mix transgender pee with normal pee. <laughs> it's in the water system. <laughs> And, and so they, uh, they want me to use the men's room. That's what they want me. Can you see me going to the men's room? Can you see me kicking open the door going, Hello, boys! I'm back! I got bigger problems than being trans. I'm old, man. Being old in this country is... Sucks, we treat our old people horribly. I'm in the autumn of my year, so yeah. Not late autumn, you know, first, second week in October. <laughs> I know this because my foliage is starting to change colors. <laughs> and my leaves are falling out, too. Seriously, I got like seven leaves left. <laughs> I had a Brazilian wax, it cost me like 39 cents. <laughs> Spa's like, you got nothing there! Here, let me take a poster, take a poster. Just... <laughs> and people ask me why I still do this 
so late in life. I get that a lot too. It's like, you know, and it's, I tell you, it's not for fame, you know, because, uh, all right, it's a little for fame, you know. But to be honest with you, I need burial money. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> My friends are like, well, I'll retire, retire. I can't afford to retire. My 401k, I got enough in there for about a month and a half on Netflix. <laughs> I do need burial money because I'm now at the top of the death list in my family. And I, I know, my sister and I are like fighting it out as to who's going to go first. My sister's insane. My sister needs like a check engine light in her forehead. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do that with crazy people? Just put it in there. <laughs> She talks about heaven like it's a real place, like Staten Island, right? She, 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 when I go to heaven, I'm gonna have a nice house on a cloud with a jacuzzi and a, and a pool. I'm like, sis, that's not heaven, that, that, that's Florida. You know what I'm talking about? And she doesn't want, she doesn't want to get buried in the ground, because get this, she's claustrophobic. <laughs> So she bought herself one of those wall units, you know, like in the, uh, what do you call it, the mausoleum, right? Except she doesn't call it the mausoleum, she calls it the mausoleum. <laughs> mausoleum sounds like a, a, a personal lubricant, doesn't it? Just, we can't fit your sister in the crib. We'll put a little mausoleum on her hips. <laughs> Slide right in there. So she's going in the wall. I me, I'm getting cremated. That's what I'm getting done. Yeah. Anybody? Thank you, fan of cremation. I am, I'm gonna get cremated, but I wanna lose some weight first. <laughs> well, cause I don't want my family to have to go shopping for like a plus sized urn. And see my sister coming out of the urn bar and going, that fat bitch matches. All of a sudden, my burial at sea is like, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> they go to scatter my ashes in the ocean, now the EPA is involved. <laughs> like, you know, you made a sandbar there with your sister. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys are great. Thank you.